In this video, I'm going to show you how to make AI animations using the loopback wave script to make something like this. Before we get started, if you would like and subscribe, that would be amazing because I'm going to be planning on doing a lot more of these videos in the future. And I would love to reach as many people as I can to teach as many people as I can. So that would be absolutely such a help. And without further ado, let's dive in. All right, so we can go to the Stable Fusion Loopback Wave script. I'm gonna leave this in the description below as well as a backup. And normally when you click this, this is where I downloaded it from and it explains how this all works. However, because for whatever reason, there is a certificate error, we can go the backup way, which I'm gonna have here. And you're just gonna go ahead and download the zip. And I have already done that. And you'll get a zip like this. You'll open it. And then all you have to do is take this loop back wave now, the script. And we're gonna have another window. And I'm gonna go to scripts here. This is in my stable diffusion folder. Gonna go to scripts, and then you can just drag and drop it into here, and that'll work. I already have it in there as loopback wave. So make sure you have that. Again, we're using automatic 1111, and if you want to see a tutorial on how to install it yourself, make sure to check the little thing that's gonna pop up near the corner of the screen. So now that we've saved it in scripts, okay, we need to go and make an image. So we are gonna be using, just doing Disney princesses because it's fun. And I'm using the Fantastic model, the this SDVAE. It just works better for this because we're doing like an anime style. And this is my prompt. I have some negative prompts in here. And we have this number of steps, the width and height, the sampling method, and that is all we really need. So this is the image that I made when I click generate. Now I'm gonna click this to send it to image to image, okay? Now, I imported this same, these same prompts over to here, over from here, okay? Then you have to make sure that your scripts right here, it's gonna be set to none. You're gonna click on it and you wanna do loopback wave. This is version 1.4.1. Just make sure it's loopback wave. And then you want to make sure that these settings also are mimicking how you got this photo here. So we have our width and height. We want to make sure that our denoising strength is actually is up 0.3. This is pretty important for this. Otherwise, it can get really wonky and things don't line up very well. Now we can keep our seed as a negative one unless you wanted to try something else. Your negative one will just be random. So in the script, we have loopback wave, good. Now, what I like to do is this depends on how many that I actually want. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out, for example, and so let's say we want 32, and I wanna do 16 frames per wave. And it's really good that these mimic each other where they're divisible by each other. If they're not, then your prompts, especially if you use multiple, they're not gonna work well. Now we'll set our max denoise at 0.6. And we're just going to ignore these don't worry about it and then video name we're going to do we'll call it disney princess youtube and we should be good after that you i mean i you can play with video encoding but this i've never gotten this to work so i don't worry about it too much and we're going to go ahead with 32 so we're going to start what's going to happen is it's going to run this once and then it's going to run it again and then it's going to run it again because of three times from zero to 16 for this prompt, then 16 to 32, and then just for it, we'll actually make this 48. So now we'll go from 32 to 48. So we'll have three different changes of Elsa. Okay. So I'm going to click generate and through editing magic, I'll see you back here when it's done. All right. And that has finished. You're going to find these in your image to image folder and you're going to look for loop back wave and then i'm going to go to disney princess youtube because that's what i called it and we can see our images in here so i'm going to just click on this we're just going to do a nice uh, cheat way to look at it as a video 
I'm just gonna hold down the arrow key and you can kind of see how it shifts between the different versions of Elsa. Now, what we're gonna do is, that's great, that's wonderful, uh, but it's not necessarily what I wanna end with. So we can do that with one character, but we can also do it with multiple. So what I did is we have down here, this prompt changes section. Okay, so what's gonna happen is, we're just got, I did a whole, I did a whole big one, right? Now, even if you copy this verbatim, it might not work specifically because I have specific lauras and things to help make it happen and make it work. But what's important here is, is that I have 16 colon colon, and then I have my description here. And it's important to note that the negative uh, prop I have here is going to affect the rest of these. So make sure that all of that works together because otherwise you can't put a negative prompt in here. And again, so I know that I have 208. So I add another 16 to that. That is math and I'm not good at it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm to 16, but add two to that. That makes it 14 and we make it to 24. Okay, I did it. Okay, 224, because we have to make sure that this gets time to do it as well. And then what we can do is we can hit play and it's going to create that video. And you just make sure that you have, you know, incremental ones that work together. Otherwise you might say you, uh, because we're doing frames per wave at 16, say I did it, you know, at 16 and then I did 25 and then 32, is not going to give it a lot of time to work on this one. If I made this one, if I made this 32, right? I made this 25. It's not going to get a lot of time to work on this one. And we won't really see it come to fruition. So you have to make sure that they all work in tandem together. The other thing that I actually ended up doing that I find really useful is you can run this, but there might be weird transitions that don't work very good or look they, don't, they just don't look good, okay? So what I ended up doing was, is instead of running this entire thing, is I would cut, and I would like, all right, cool, let's just do the this one with Elsa, and then we'll do 16, and we'll do 32, and we'll do up to 48 frames, okay? And then I'll be like, all right, cool, did I like that? Sweet, I did like that. Then what I would do is I would go back and I'm actually going to bring the one that I did before in here. And all right, so say I like that and let, we'll, we'll have ended on Merido, right? And that was on a 48, I believe. Now that's, nope, not, like, that's not correct. And let's see, this one will be good. All right, so we have Merida. Now what I would do is I would take this prop now so it was good and I'm gonna put that in here and then what I would do is I would take the next like say three prompts and then I would just adjust these here and we would test to see how well these ones do because you can't really go back and say like, oh, I didn't like this. Let me start from this thing. Cause I liked how this started. It doesn't really work that way. So you can build it incrementally and then that will allow you to kind of build it slowly and make sure you get what you're looking for. And I find that that works really well. And when you're doing this, make sure to create a new folder so you don't overwrite the old files in the folder. And you can just add them together later. And as long as you always start with the last one that it ended on, then you're going to be fine and it's going to work great. And then, all right. So once you have all of your folders done, okay, we, you can do this a couple ways. I will generally use Premiere to do this. So we're going to jump into Premiere and I'll show you how I bring it all together. So we are Premiere and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click on here, I'm going to go to my outputs, image to images. I'm going to go to loopback. I'm going to Disney Princess 14. And I'm just going to make sure I import it as images sequence. 
and then we can drag and drop it in here. We're going to change the sequence settings. And so now we have our image sequence. This goes really, really fast. So generally I don't want it to go that fast because I'm like, well, I don't really like, you can't really, you know, experience it and enjoy it. So I'll slow it down by 50 and I feel like it just is so much smoother that way. And then once we have that, we're going to go ahead and file. We're going to just go ahead and export that. And we'll just, that, you know, sequence one is fine, whatever. Make sure that we save it. We'll just throw it to the downloads for the time being. Fine, I'll call it just Disney Princess video. We'll save it and then we'll use maximum render and we're going to export. Awesome, so we have our video exported. Now what's nice is you, if you go into Deforum, if you don't already have this extension, you can go into extensions, go to available, load from, then click on A to Z and then look for Deforum. And you can find that it will be listed here. I already have it installed and you just click on install here. Once you have that installed, you'll want to go and reload the UI so that it shows up. So what you're going to do, go to Deforum and go to output and you're gonna to go to video upscaling. So then all that you have to do is we're gonna grab that sequence video we do, right? The Tisty Princess, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it in here. And it's gonna recognize cool how many frames we have and then we can set that output. Generally, I don't go above 1024 by 1536 because for like for Instagram or most things, you're not gonna go higher than that and it's going to compress it. And then everything else in here is fine. And I'm just going to go ahead and click Upscale Uploaded Video. And if you want to see if it's working, you can bring up your command window and you can see it got the request. And that's going to take a little bit of time to do it. And once you have that, then your video is going to be ready to go and you can use it for whatever you want. Forgot to mention that if you want to find where your video is saved, you're going to, it's, it states in the command window where it is. But you'll just go back into where your outputs folder is, go to frame upscaling, Disney Princess video, and we have it right here. And we'll actually also show your unscaled frames. And then I'll do it for this video. And that's it for this video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It would be super useful for me to create more videos like this. And I plan to be doing a lot more in the future. So if you want to learn the tips and tricks, and really get more advanced knowledge than just the basic stuff you might find on YouTube, please continue to follow me and I hope to provide that information for you and I hope to see you here again soon.